Hello, my noble band of outlaws. Outlaw Samurai, coming at you live with a video. Happy birthday to me. Yes, it is my birthday today. Well, it won't be my birthday when I upload this video, but March 3rd is my birthday. So, I was at Walmart today, bought a six-pack of Mike's Lemonade, because I'm legal. And I also bought some movies. I bought Black Panther, which... Shockingly enough, I have never seen Black Panther before. I've never seen Endgame. In fact, well, I have seen Endgame because my uncle bought it and I watched it. But I haven't watched Infinity War, oddly enough. It was, when these movies came out, I didn't have money to buy them. And I kept asking my dad to buy them for me, but he said no. So, yeah. I treated myself. So, as I normally do, you probably know the what are you doing? my uncle interrupting oh. as normal. Sorry about that incredibly annoying interruption. But, as I said, I never watched Black Panther before. So, as I normally do, you probably know about Black Panther's storyline by now. But, I'm going to read the back, see what the disc looks like, and do what I normally do. So... Meet the new king. After a tragedy faces young Prince T'Challa to assume Wakanda's throne, he is faced with the ultimate test, putting the fate of his country and the entire world at risk. Pitted against his own family, the new king must rally his allies and release the full power of Black Panther to defeat his foes and embrace his future as an, aven as an Avenger. Don't ask me to do the whole Wakanda for everything because I actually forget how to do the Wakanda for everything. But I'll probably remember, I'll probably either remember or most definitely see it in the video. But, there we got, uh, Jui Jutsu, Jui Jutsu, uh, Jiu Jutsu. Every six years, an ancient order of, uh, expert Jiu Jitsu fighters... My uncle being an annoyance as always. He has to come in here to wash his cup out instead of using a damn paper towel like a normal person. Yeah. Enjoy the sound of running water. Now, as I was trying to do, every six years an ancient order of expert jujitsu fighters faces a vicious race of aliens. Invaders in a battle for Earth. Oh, almost forgot. Here's the disc. <clears throat> for thousands of years, the fighters that protect Earth have won until now when celebrated war hero Jake Barnes, Alan Mossy, is defeated by Brax, the indomitable leader of the invaders. The future of humanity hangs in the balance. Injured and suffering from amnesia, Jake is rescued by Wiley. Nicholas Cage, king of the fantasy movies. Nicholas Cage, Kyun Jun, Tony Ja, and his team of fellow Jiu Jitsu fighters. They must help Jake regain his strength in order to band together and defeat Brax in an epic battle that will once again determine the fate of mankind. You're out. Sorry about that. Had to change locations because of the constant interruptions. To determine the fate of mankind. There's the cover. I especially like the design of the suba and the katana. Here's the case. Here's the movie. Here's a digital thing. Some sort of code at the bottom. Then we have in uh, I guess in the spirit of the Godzilla vs. Kong movie the animated Godzilla series. All 40 episodes. Oh, including two unaired episodes that I didn't know about. That's cool. So 42 episodes. After helping take down Godzilla, biologist Dr. Nick Tatopoulos, voice of Ian Zingering, stumbles upon his hatchy, Hatchley, who bonds with the scientist as a parental figure, recruiting his own 
environmentally directed research outfit HEAT Humanitarian Environmental Analysis Team, Nick sets out to study not only the new generation, but also to investigate the increasing reports of monsters of all types and other environmental abnormalities menacing the Earth. Earth, ex Earth each exciting episode is a pulse-pounding monster hunt driven by Nick's team, accompanied by the 300-foot giant reptile as they travel the globe, defeating, defending huma, huma, uh, humankind against mutant threats. Here's the cover. Here's the back. I think we can all agree that the 2000s, or I think 1980, 1998 to 2000s, American Godzilla, the live-action movie, was horrible. Now, I like the Godzilla movie, but the reason I can view it as its own separate thing, I view it as a whole separate thing, actually, where you have Godzilla, Toho, and then you have Zilla. And Zilla is canon in Godzilla's universe. I mean, he was in Godzilla Final Wars, but the CGI was so crappy that it didn't even look like he was finished. And that was intentional because they were making fun of it. You know that when you make a Godzilla movie and an actor who played Godzilla in the costume gets up, walks out of the theater, and looks back and screams, That is not the Godzilla Sama! But the animated version redeems the giant lizard. So I feel like the animated Godzilla made by AMC actually gives this new Zilla. Uh, its own little spin-off thing where we have Godzilla and then we have Zilla. Now if this thing was some other creature that was not intended to be a Godzilla of its own then I don't think it would have received as much negative praise as it did. Now if this was, now as I said, this, I view it as a completely separate thing. So, uh, with that in mind, that is why I really like this version of Godzilla. And, in actuality, if we, if, if we view it as an old separate thing, it's kind of an interesting take on the big G. Like, what if Godzilla wasn't as OP in his defensive capabilities as we know him to be? But, that's just my opinions. Um, I'm going to make this thing short because I am cooking pasta in the other room. So until next time, my noble band of outlaws, outlaw samurai, tell all y'all, be crazy rednecks, be safe and use your weapons, I'm out, peace, and give the anime Godzilla a chance. You might like it. See ya.